hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Manuel Rhino today we'll be talking about how to optimize the ad you know running ad is different thing and how to optimize your ad if your ad is doing well or not and what you can toolish to make sure that uh, the ad is profitable because you cannot just run ad and leave it like that no if you do so no matter how great is your ad you will still lose money but by the time you run it for two to three days google will give you some data some informations so we use these informations to optimize the ad so exactly that is what i'll be showing you today now if you've not subscribed to this channel kindly do so and hit on the notification bell so that you will be the first to get my premium videos without further ado without delay let's get started so if you remember this ad that i was running i think uh, i have the video the video will pop up anywhere from now that i run ad from scratch so this is the result of the ad and today is 26 today of recording this ad is 26 today is when the program is going on now i want to show you details how i optimize this ad this ad is a successful ad because with uh, we have 100k impression we have 1.9 to click then we spent in 0.05 per click cpc then interaction is 1.92 percent most important thing is let your international interaction rate is greater than one percent but this is not the actual result now i want to show you now when you start running your ad or you want to start running ad today or tomorrow the first thing you want to do let me quickly show you this then i'm going to give you the details on what to do now look at this I started running this ad on 18, I think on 16 or there about. So we are going to go to this date by clicking on this date here. So let me go to from 16 to 17. Then let me apply. Let's see what we have. Now you can see I have just 0706 impression, there are no clicks and nothing. So let me click increase this guy to 18, from 16 to 18 now. Let me apply. Look at what happened. I want you to focus on this CPC cost per click and spending is 0 0.09. From 16 to 18, I'm spending 0 0.09, which is great. So let me check on 19, then apply just 19. On 19, you can see I'm spending 0 0.07 per click. Awesome. Let's check on 20. 20, apply. On 20, I'm spending 0 0.05. I'm going to break this down. I'm going to explain this. Let me click on 21. Just 21. 21, 21. Apply. Boom. On 21, I'm spending 0 0.03. Now, from on 21, first off, let me click on 22. 22, apply. On 22, I'm spending 0 0.03. So, on 23, I'm spending 0 0.03. And you can see from 21 to 23, I'm spending 0 0.03. And now what that tells you, let me go to from 21 to 26, that I stop this ad. Let me apply it and see what happened. So all together, I'm spending 0 0.04. And if you notice, the very first day that this ad is running, I mean the second day, I'm spending 0 0.09. That means I'm spending times three of what I'm spending from on 21 and spending times three of it. Now, what did I do? What did I do that make me spending less than three times of what I'm spending when I start running the ad? Now, the first thing is when you start running your ad for the very first time, please don't input, let's assume, you know, I explained this in the video that 
when you are running your ad and your budget per day is five dollars please don't use that five dollars use one dollar because why if you are running your ad if you notice at the top section here you'll be seeing you'll be seeing learning learning phase google is learning your ad your ad is in learning phase is trying to track how people are reacting to this ad that period you will be spending more and that is what is actually happening on 18 18 you can see and spending is 0 0.09 this is learning phase yours might be one dollars yours might be two dollar because i've already optimized this ad that's why you is important you watch the video how i run this ad can you see I'm spending 0 0.09? Now, in your own case, if you are putting more money, then you'll be spending more. And this time is learning phase. Google is learning your ad. Your ad is being learned, how people are interacting to it, how people are reacting to it. So you don't want to put all your money on this ad. If you are to be spending $5 per day, $10 per day, please don't use that amount during the learning phase if you are doing so you are wasting a lot of money that is one and learning phase sometimes it takes a week but for my case for my case learning phase, you will see it it will be written learning phase the moment the learning phase is no more there then you cannot addict your ad hope you get that now when i notice that okay i'm spending more on the ads so the next thing i do because this type of ad is display ad then i want to go to placement i eat on placement then where ad shows i click on where ad shows so what i did here is i'm looking at the placement where i'm having high conversion that i'm paying less so the one that i'm not having high conversion and i'm paying more what i do is i've removed the placements so that's exactly what i did and i'm going to show you right away so on that placement you click on where your ad shows so it's loading right now let's wait for this guy to show up this is very important for you to do if you are not doing this you are wasting money i don't see why you need to waste money you need to track everything you're doing if you want to run successful google ads okay this is where this ad shows and now i want you to pay attention to what i want to do then look at this metric here look at clicks impression click through rate and average cpc look at the first one the first website here i have 23 clicks that I'm paying average CPC is 0 0.05. Now look at this. I have 16 clicks. Then I'm paying 0 0.1. Can you see this? This guy, this different. I'm having more clicks here. Then I'm paying 0 0.05. This guy, I'm having lesser click. Then I'm paying more. Can you see the average? Can you see this? Can you see average? now if look at this then look at the like let's do let's quickly look for calculator here sorry i like to be you know to practicalize exactly what i'm doing to track to do the calculation so we'll be able to understand what is on the table what you are leaving on the table now 0 0.17 divided by 0 0.05 now can you see i'm paying more than three times of this more than three times look at this look at this look at this 0 0.05 0 0.05 times 3.4 then 0 0.05 times 3.4 then equivalents to this that means I'm paying three times of what I'm paying here. So if um, maybe this ad is not ended right now, if I'm to continue this ad, what I'll just do is see this ad is not profitable to me anymore. I'm going to come here, then I'm going to remove this. 
I'm going to click on it. You can see this edit button here. Then I can click on exclude from ad group. Do you understand? So that's what I'm going to do. Now let's look at this again. It's 0 0.01. This one is not profitable to. This one is not profitable to. All I'm going to do again, I'm going to click on here, then I'm going to what? Exclude these two. Edit, then exclude these two. In fact, I'm going to do one right away so we understand what I'm doing. I'm going to click on this. Look at this mobile finish uh, video ads. Then I'm going to click on this again, these two guys. Then I can edit. Then I'm going to say exclude from ad group. Then I'm going to click on this guy. Can you see? Excluding your placement. You can see it down here. So these two guys, excluding your placement, these two guys will leave because they are not like two placements excluded. They are not profitable. So I want all the money to be channeled to this first one. You can see. You can see those these two guys, they are excluded. These two guys, they are excluded. Do you understand? So this is where I want to channel all the money to. So what you should do is when you notice that the click CPC you are getting is very high and the click actually is very low compared to the one whoever you are getting low click and you are paying more you want to exclude them look at this look at this 23 click 1.1 CTR excuse me they are paying 0 0.05 look at the cost one dollar for 23 clicks why this one for just 16 clicks I'm having 2.76 dollars Is that clear? All right. So that is exactly what I do because I have a lot of a lot of websites here. The first, I mean, the second day, I have a lot of them here. Then, if you watch that video, you notice that I have a lot. Then I have to remove them. I have to remove a dick. Then, then I add more for this. So this is what you do. So after you've done all of this, you want to save your ads. You want to save your ad then you still watch what is going on the following day so this is how you do it so maybe this is not performing well i wanted i want to add more keywords to this more keywords to this all i have to do is i go to placement again now man you can see here now let's assume if i don't want this guy this niger if i don't want it again all i have to do this then i post it hey i don't want it to show here you post it is it that you excluded it the way we did the other time or you come here placement then you post it right away from here so if you want to add more for this maybe you know this okay you want to try some site you click on this edit Then you want to click on this ad group you want to click on this then this is the ad the particular ad i want to edit i want to add more keywords to this and this is the ad i click on it then i want to come to enter website right now for example let me say i want to add youtube.com all i have to do is type youtube youtube.com so now my ad then i'm going to click on ad placement so that my ad will be displaying on youtube.com youtube.com and you can see it so this is how you optimize your ad you have to optimize it you have to check what is actually going on hope you learn one or two things on this how to optimize your ad because you don't you don't want to leave your ad let it run and start wasting your money no you have to see with the data that google will give you you want to know what is actually working and what is not working the one that is underperforming you want to box it and you want to try new things the ones that is performing well you want to leave it hope you learn one or two things how to optimize your ad and if you have any question please comment below i'm going to answer your question you can reach out to me if you have any issue
on how to optimize ad and again if the next video and the next video will be how to run profitable search ads see you if you kindly do so my name remain emmanuel Aino. bye for now